right, hey folks, Aaron at Otter Creek Farm and bushhoggingservices.com. I am off to do uh, what will be my single largest uh, job to date, and that's a 10 acre field with uh, small pines that the owner is planning on building on in the future. So he wants to cut the pines down so they do not uh, continue to grow and become more expensive later. So um, the Bomba Light is actually at a fabricator's right now working to get a tailwheel added to it so I have the option of using it more like a traditional bush hog and uh, I've got the smaller RK uh, six foot cutter which will do two inch trees fairly easy uh, so I'm gonna go out there today and it is uh, June in Florida so uh, it is hot very hot and very dusty we have not had rain for quite some time but starting tomorrow we're supposed to get rain for four or five days straight so we've been in a uh, major dry season and uh, you know we're all ready to come out of it. Uh, the roads are dry and dusty and sandy and uh, lots of dust in the air, et cetera, et cetera. The ponds are way down. Uh, you know the animals are stressed, all the normal stuff. But uh, by the, this time at the you know uh, end of next month, we'll have more rain and water than we probably want. And, and it's hard to imagine going from such a dry environment to uh, a virtual swamp in you know, 30, 60, 90 days, and that's what we're gonna run into. So uh, get out here and get after this uh, 10 acres. My goal is to finish it today, even if I gotta run with the lights on. I do not want to have to come back just for another hour of cutting at the, you know, tomorrow or something like that. So I definitely won't be driving home since I live be about three hours from home. So if I have to, I will stay up in this area uh, overnight, uh, cut in my profits, but you know, still, probably about break even when it costs you know the cost of fuel plus my time and fatigue so I look at it that way the other thing that I wanted to mention was there's always questions about well how do you price a job and uh, one of the things that I have done is I have gotten away from pricing jobs by the hour and uh, you know people want to you know put you on the clock and you know uh, hit the stopwatch when you show up and click it when you leave and I'm no different when I'm paying somebody else you know uh, you know, I'm a little bit more lenient in understanding just because I'm kind of in the same boat, but you know, I kind of have my eye on things that way. So uh, in order to avoid that and have to deal with discussing travel time and things like that, I'm just, you know, I'm throwing people a price and they can either take the price or leave it. And you know, uh, on this particular job, which if I can do two acres an hour and I'm charging a thousand dollars for it, then uh, that's gonna cover because you know, it takes me an hour just to get the you know the tractor loaded up because I got to do a variety of different things. But you know, let's say half hour to an hour of prep. Uh, I got an hour to drive there, hour to drive back, half hour of unloading and uh, putting things away. So you know, right there, I'm in four hours. And then if I do two hour or two acres an hour, ten acres, if everything goes perfectly smoothly, then I'm going to be done in five hours and I'll finish with a nine hour day. So. You know, it roughly comes out to, you know, $112 um, uh, an hour, which when you think about tractor work, that's pretty good because a lot of times you see people online and they're, you know, they're advertising, me included, tractor work for, you know, 75 bucks an hour. And if I had priced this by the hour, it would have, I would have made half that or, you know, something uh, conservative less. So, you know, look at the job and as you get experience, you'll be able to do that. Uh, I am confident that I will make some more mistakes along the way, but if you're unsure, I mean, start hourly until you get your feet wet and you understand what the pace is, uh, especially after you look at it, you really cannot price a job without looking at it, even if you do it hourly, because there may be things there that just prevent you from doing the job. And uh, in my case, you know, if somebody needs the bigger cutter, then I charge a higher price because that's a unique piece of equipment. It's twice as, uh, as expensive as some, some traditional bush hogs and I'm the only one around that has one. So, you know, if you need that, then you're paying a premium for it because it's worthwhile. Just like uh, forestry mulching. If you're gonna get a forestry mulcher, you're gonna pay $2,000 a day because the finished product is you know, really nice and they can do a lot of stuff very quickly. So um, you know, those are things to keep in mind in getting to a point where you can price jobs by the job, not by the hour. So uh, we'll get back to you and uh, show you what's going on once we get on site. So here we have the field. It's just roughly two thirds of the area here. The uh, White House over there owns part of this, but you can see the pine trees that are growing up. And that's what I'm here to really get rid of, get it all down. So one bigger tree there, a couple thicker pines over here, but 
shouldn't be a problem. I brought the smaller cutter today. About two inches on that should be fine. And I've certainly run over things that size or bigger by accident. So get it unloaded, get started. Here's a look to the inside. First couple pine trees I'm gonna hit. Just roll on the perimeter now. Scope out the situation, make sure I understand what I'm getting into. situation looks good. That was the one I missed before. But I need to call the owner about this changing direction. Let's make sure I understand what's their property. The advantages of having a cab tractor, why would you ever buy one without if you could afford it? First rain that I've seen in Florida with any significance in weeks or months. Glad to see it. The final row on the 10 acres. Birds are loving it. All the grasshoppers are getting flushed out. Flying all over the place. I think these are well trained agricultural egrets. So this is a 10 acre job uh, averaging 3.9 miles per hour and it's going to take five and a half hours of actual cutting time. Uh, about two acres per hour and a half hour for uh, trimming around the edges and uh, in between the trees and stuff like that. So that's what you know, added that little bit of extra time. But two acres an hour is a pretty good estimate for this type of cutting uh, where you can pretty much stay in forward motion and you don't have to slow down, back up a lot. Um, you know, the vegetation's not too thick, things that nature. So if that helps you uh, price your jobs, uh, good luck with that, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.